Okay, uh, we have, a, anyway, I'll just let, let Jen talk. <laughs> no, because some couples are moving away no. from traditional engagement rings, and they're saying, I do, to a new trend that we're seeing a lot of people do. It sounds like it's just more convenient. All right, let's hear about it. And, and just so everyone knows, I'm never upset with Alex. Not for one oh, second am I ever upset with Alex. Okay, well, as long as I'm not at the problem, Love we're in it, then Bye. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Jeff Calmer is here from Calmer's Jewelers. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank Hi, you. Jen. Okay, so we've been talking about this. Silicone rings. We see them on people. We have some images of them. These are not the things that people are getting engaged with, but they're wearing them in replacement of like a traditional wedding band. I don't know that they're necessarily at the synagogue or the church or wherever they're getting married and exchanging rubber bands. Yeah. But with active lifestyles, people definitely think it's necessary now. And you like this idea, first responders, people that are into fitness. I love it. Years before, they wouldn't wear a ring because they they get it lost. Yeah, or... I figured most athletes or somebody out there that doesn't want to wear a band because they don't want to hurt their finger yeah. would just leave it at home. But now they're actually showing that they're married and proud of it with a silicone band. Okay. And you want to be in business with those people. I do. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a great way to get to know a lot of the people in the neighborhood that I haven't met yet. Yeah. Um, of course, another great way is having pretty, pretty stuff in the window. It's worked. Okay, so we talked about this. The number one new trend you're seeing overall is yellow gold is back. Yes. Why is that? Even though I don't have a display of yellow at the moment, <laughs> it's because every single time I've made one, it has sold right away. Yeah. So, but we're taking similar, like, similar designs to this ring right here. Yeah. It's very traditional, simple, and clean. Yep. We're executing it in yellow gold. And it's just flying out. Really? And it does not look like your grandmother's or mother ring from the 70s or whatever era it was that that was popular. This is a similar way to see it. I know you locked this up, so I can't get at it. Can I get in there? Oh, but this is what we're talking about, like dainty, like sophisticated. Very refined, very thin. There's a way to do it now with an emphasis on the fine little details that makes it look very current. It's okay. feminine. The other thing that you're telling people is like people are spending more than they have in years past on engagement rings. And you're saying make a way to figure out how it is looks current, but also classic. Yeah, we don't want to make a ring that looks like in 10 years, maybe you got married in a certain era or engaged in a certain era. Yeah. We think that what we're doing is we're basically making a ring that 20 years from now will still look current. I don't have a crystal ball, but I'm anticipating that most of the clients that are buying rings and we're building them the way we are here. So what am I looking at? love it just as much then as they do. The day they get it. I see a lot of round. Round is always the winner. Round is the the, the traditional classic stone shape. Yep. And then a lot of the other shapes kind of come and go. Okay. But right now oval and antique cushion has taken the lead. Yeah. And it's because we look at celebrities, we see what they're buying for each other. Once a celebrity that's relevant gets an engagement ring, it seems to absolutely affect the shapes that people are asking about here. But an, a round ring they're also putting a bunch of gorgeous stuff around it. You know, there was a time when we were doing halos that were really little stones. Yeah. But a lot of the halos that we're building now are more, uh, they're just larger diamonds that go around the diamond. Yep. Like this. Like That's the Princess right. Diana design, that, where she obviously has a ring that I think for years will be admired. Uh-huh. And this sort of design with any shaped stone looks fairly special, important, and I don't think that it'll go out anytime soon. You know... Uh, hi. I mean, can you be in the ring place without putting a ring on? It's beautiful! Also, there's a necklace. You that can just see suits you too. One of them my daughter gave me. <laughs> one of them that. just that ring on your finger. It's just tell me how much. Me. Oh. Just tell me how much. I'll have to chase you down. Um, Mike would like to know how much this is. <laughs> for you, Mike? We'll work something out. That's oh my, my gosh! And no way. My What's the price range for it. silicone rings? Get the white jerk special. The silicone rings are about 25 bucks. So people oh, are buying those. That's more and again, they're using them in play. Like, you don't use them as an engagement ring. Right. You use them for your everyday ring. That's right. Awesome. You're going on vacation and stuff like that. You don't like gotcha. Finger, you well, he mentioned Princess Thanks, Diana. Thank you.